now welcome back Dukes and Duquettes and also welcome to the newcomers from YouTube. It's Eddie TV. I'm Eddie back with another video. Okay, I'm doing a reaction from Susie. It, uh, this video is titled Confessions of Fast Food Employees. So that sounds like some something, something's about to be bad, bro. Like like either they're gonna tell us the secrets of what they do to people, food that that piss them off or change the order or whatever the heck, bro. It don't sound good. Confessions never sound like a good thing. Confess. Like, when you think of confession, you think of the, the, the law and order stuff, like going to court and somebody's making a confession about something or you're thinking about the, the Catholic confession, some some crazy crap. It's, it, it don't sound good. So let's see what uh, Susie has in store for us. But before we hop into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, it's free to subscribe. So so hit the bell and hit the uh, red red subscription. Red subscription. Red subscription. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? Uh, also, if you haven't already, go to uh, Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Eddie Ed TV. We get rocking and popping over there. And also, if you like gaming, go to the gaming channel, Eddie Ed Gaming. And that's why I do all the live streams and all the gaming. So yeah, let's keep it rocking. Uh. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Bam! But I just don't trust it. And just like when you're in a relationship, have you ever been in a relationship when you caught your boyfriend or girlfriend lying? Hold on, pause this. Pause for a second. I hate when it does that, bro. That trust is gone. Yeah. It's almost impossible to get back. Impossible. If you work at a mall or a shopping plaza, you know when it's time to eat. It's always at the food court. Hey. I used to work at a clothing store. I'm at greeter spot and my coworker Jeremiah comes up. All right, I just clocked in. You can go to lunch. Cool, I'm going to get a cheeseburger from, let's call this place, Ronald's? Okay, oh, okay, okay, so he don't want to spill the beans on which location. Okay, I get him, I get him, yeah, yeah, perfect, you don't want to get, uh, yeah, he's right. Don't go to that Ronald's in the food court, I used to work there before I got the job here. Why not? Ooh. Don't go there, just trust me. Right. See, 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 when, when somebody that used to work there say that, you then begin to be like, yo, hold on, bro. I've been eating this since like, since the past two years. What you got to tell me that's crazy? He started, like, he started getting scared and, and like nervous about what might be said about the place because you've been eating there for a while, like if that was the case. Because, yeah, that, that would happen to anybody. I love Ronald's, so you need to tell me why I don't need to go to this Ronald's. Do you know how many people's burgers I spit in while I was working at that Ronald's? Oh! Wait, what? If I looked up at the screen, and I saw anybody order a custom order, I spit in it. What did you order when you would go there? Uh, Hold on, my camera's about to die. How in the world is my camera... Uh, cheeseburger, only ketchup, mayo, and mustard. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. I spit in that burger. You're, you're oh joking. my gosh, bro. The manager Hold up, bro. This, this is... What? Like, you mean to tell me... I know this is this type of stuff is real. I know it is, but bro, like, have I eaten a sandwich that's been either spit in or or put some like nut hair on, bro? See, this is why I don't eat out a lot, man. This is why I don't eat. I cook at home. This is why I don't eat. A, this is exactly why, bro, because. Like nowadays, you don't gotta verbally make someone mad. You just gotta order something, and and they don't like how that they have to make the order, and now they're gonna spit in it. That's why the man. manager there doesn't care. You know how many times people would come and complain about hair in their food, and it was the manager's hair that was in the food, and he'd be like, "Nobody here has that hair color," and it's clearly his. Needless to say, I stopped going to Ronald's a lot. So a few years later, I meet this girl, Brianna. She works at, uh, let's call her place Jenny's. So she works at Jenny's. When I find out she works at fast food, I tell her about the Jeremiah story. That is not normal. People usually only mess with your food if you're rude or an a-hole. Exactly! Uh, did you ever mess with anybody's food? Only once, because the guy was an a-hole. Right? An that makes more sense. Along, and he came back. Yelling and cursing at me. 
I was yeah. in line. I was at register. She's yelling and making a huge scene. I'm like on the verge of... That's a situation where, okay, it makes sense that it will happen. But it just for no reason, bro. But since that guy was a super a-hole, I went to the back. And I made his food. I took his patty and I dropped it on the floor. I feel so. my coworker. Hold on. See, why do people that be are rude to employees think that they're going to get what they want without paying the cost? But I don't understand. Like, you you have people that will just say anything because their order is either wrong or whatever. And it actually talk, be at, like, curse at people and expect their food to be A-OK. -okay. Like, nothing will happen to it. Like, nobody will get mad and think of doing something crazy. Like, that, that you're, you, you got to be dumb. Let's go ahead, bro. Let's go ahead, bro. And he's just shaking his head like, it's not enough. And then I took his bun and I rubbed it around the rim of the garbage can. Don't oh. be rude to people who are fixing your food. Exactly. Fast food every day. Now I eat fast food like once every five months. No, a good rule of thumb is if you ever go to a fast food place and the people preparing your food, if they're not wearing gloves, don't eat there. Because if they're ignoring that rule, they're most likely ignoring a bunch of other rules too. So yeah, to say, I pretty much stopped going to fast food. And I still, to this day, love fast food. So for any of y'all that watch my story on Instagram, every time I go to Tokyo, you see me at that 24-hour McDonald's in Shinjuku every single day. Everybody's very respectful. The chances of somebody messing with your food over there is slim to negative zero. So I quit working retail, get the job at Hard Rock Hotel as a lifeguard, and one day I'm running super late, which is pretty much every day I'm scheduled to work, and I get the urge for some, uh, let's call this place, chess. The burgers and the fries at this place are amazing, however, comma, the, the people they've been hiring and the quality had just been going downhill over the years, so now it's just too risky to go there. So it's the first time I'm going to be eating fast food in like four years. So I pull up to the speaker. And then he said, if we break up, ain't nobody going to want me. Girl, his friend Tyrone want me. His friend Jaquil is all up in the Leave. Leave the spot. A immediately. Up, yeah? Yes, girl, yes, Pierre. He killed in the mud. Nah, oh, son. If we break up, you know what I'll do? I'm Hello? <laughs> um, excuse me? Yes? Um. Oh, wow. Bro, I don't need all that, bro. I do not need... He should have left. He should have left that place fast. Like, I, I didn't even need to ask you, can I order? If I heard you were talking stupid through the thing, through it, I'm gone. I know. Girl, I'm finna get fired today, asshole. Oh, my God. What's your chest? What can I get you? Yeah, um... Oh, heck no, bro. Sorry, no, I'm in a rush. Can I get a, um... Uh, can I get a number one, the chestburger meal with only ketchup, mustard, and lettuce? Hello? Mm hmm And, um, and, a, and a, can I get a large, can I, Bro. can I make that a large with a Sprite? Somebody that's leaving a, a restaurant, broke, and they having a bad day. Pull up to the window. <laughs> they having a bad day. They make day. the order. She gives me the bag. I, I would call. never. Cool. I'm driving. I'm just going to eat in the car. I take my burger out. Don't you guys love when you tell them only ketchup? And only mustard, super simple, and they put everything on it. They get it completely wrong. I love it so much that I turn around and drive back. I already know oh, this is not going to end well. Welcome to Chess. Can I take your order? Uh, yes. I, I just need a number one, the Chess combo, the Chess burger combo, with only ketchup, and only mustard, and only lettuce. I figured, let me just order like I'm a completely new person. But when I pull up to the window, that's when I drop it on her like, hey, you messed up my order. Can I just swap you the messed up order for the order that you just placed is what I tell her. Ooh. I just put this in as a new order. Why you didn't tell me back there at the intercom that this was a messed up order? Because you want to spit in my joint. That's why. That's exactly why. Oh, that was a smart move. That's a, actually a good move. I might keep that in the back of my head. You annoy, I swear to God. She grabs my order, walks around the corner. So about 30 seconds later, I see one of the employees poke his head around the window and look at me, and then go back. And about a minute later, I see another employee poke their head around the window, and then go back. Mind you, this is not on some, we recognize you from YouTube, because I started my YouTube channel, but I was only at like 100 subscribers at the time, so this is not that. So then she hands me the new bag, and doesn't say a word. Take the bag, drive off. I open up this bag, and it smelt 
like a dumpster and the sewer had a baby. It was odious. This didn't smell like they took my burger and went around. Hold on, let's go. Once. Let's go with odious. It was odious. Odious. Extremely unpleasant <laughs> and repulsive. This didn't smell like they took my burger and went around the rim with it one time. This reeked. I'm not going to oh. eat this food. As soon as I get to work, I'm throwing this away. So I'm driving. Lo and behold, I see a homeless man on the corner of the road. Oh, don't give and it to him, I son. Huh. I pull over and I hold the bag out of the window. He sees me, stands up, walks to the edge of the road, Bro, and then he's waiting up. for opening in traffic so he can cross. Bro, he about to die I for myself, a garbage sandwich. Are you an idiot? Those employees did God knows what to your food. You're not gonna eat it, but you're gonna give it to this homeless man? Yeah, bro, that's messed up. That's not cool, bro. That's that's not cool. Traffic clears up, and the homeless man starts jogging toward me. And as he gets closer, I panic, and I just drive off. Dang. But then I get to work, and I'm on the guard stand, and I start thinking, from that homeless guy's perspective, I pulled up like, hey, bro, come get this free food. Psych, see ya, sky. Exactly. Do y'all ever put yourself in a situation where you just feel like crap? I just couldn't shake that feeling of feeling like a terrible person. So for the next few days that I had to work, every time I would go in, I was looking for this homeless dude. Never saw him again, unfortunately. Dang. And I couldn't shake that feeling of feeling like a terrible person. So to kind of counteract it, if I was at a drive-thru, I'd pay for the person behind me. If I was at a movie theater, I'd buy the person behind me a ticket. I was just OD. So yeah. Some of us love fast food, but some of us also have trust issues. We've been hurt in the past. Once that trust is gone, it's almost impossible to get back. Hey, listen. Another that was that was a, that was a, that was a good one because people need to relax, okay? Like people at, at <clears throat> fast food places and people that order food that have problems that like to talk too much. Like now, hopefully somebody learns their lesson and, and stop yapping so crazy and, and get your order messed with. At least. Okay, if you mess up my order, I'm going to have to tell you about it. But you got to say it right. Don't be just yelling and, what's that? That's going to get you, that's going to get your order messed up. 